Hello and welcome to this video about registering a group of candidates using the CPCAB portal. Before we begin the process, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. The first of those is whether your centre uses a purchase order system. If it does, then you'll need to have the purchase order number for the registration to hand to be able to associate it. The second of those is if your centre uses a unique learner number system. If so, you'll have to have to hand the unique learner number for each candidate in the group. To begin with, you need to log in using the email and password that you've been provided by email. The first step in registering a group is to click on the registrations section of the menu and then click on the create registration button. This screen will show you the stages that need to be completed to register a group. And at the top here, you can see stage by stage the different sections that we need to complete. The first stage is to select the qualification. For the purposes of a test, I'm going to register a group of Level 2 Certificate in Counselling Skills. The next screen allows you to input course details, starting with the date that the course starts on, followed by the finish date, the days of the week, the course start and end times, and then any additional days that are run throughout the year. Next you need to select the external assessment date. And then choose the tutors that will be teaching the group. If you can't see the tutor for the group within this list, it may mean that CPCAB hasn't got record of the tutor on file. So you'll need to get in touch with CPCAB. Otherwise, select the tutor from this list. In this screen, there's a section to provide notes to CPCAB. You might want to give us any notes to do with the, any of the candidates or the registration in general. Otherwise, leave this field blank and click Next. Finally, there are a few statements that we need to make sure that you've had sight of. So make sure that you read this screen and if you're happy with what it says, type your name in the box to agree. And finally, this screen reflects back to you a summary of all the information that you've input. So you can click Confirm at this stage. Now that you've input the group details, it's time to add candidates to the group. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see that there are two buttons allowing you to add candidates. You can either add candidates one at a time, manually, or you can add them in a batch by using a CSV file. To start with, I'll show you how to add candidates manually. At the top of this screen, you'll see there are two different options. There's either search CPCAB learner number, or there's new candidate. If you have a candidate who's already undertaken a CPCAB course, they should have a six digit CLN, CPCAB learner number. You can type that number into this box, press search, and it will fill in all of their details by pulling up their record. Otherwise, if, they, if you don't have the CLN, or if they're a new candidate that hasn't done a CPCAB course before, you can fill in their details in this screen. At the bottom, you'll see that there's a CPCAB learner number. This is something that our system generates automatically, so you don't need to fill anything in in this box. At the bottom, when you filled in all the candidates details, click Add to Group. The page will refresh and you'll see another blank screen allowing you to add another candidate to the group. When you've added the last candidate to the group, you'll need to scroll to the bottom of this empty page and click Finished Adding. The page will refresh and you'll see that it says this registration is unconfirmed. At the moment, it's a draft. It hasn't been sent to CPCAB and it's waiting for you to say that you're happy to submit. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see that there are details of all of the group information as well as the candidates that you've already input. Here you have the option you can view, edit or remove any candidates from the group. Below that, you have the option to add any more candidates or to confirm or abandon the group, 
or to view the candidate registration list. You may find that if you've made any mistakes, you need to abandon the group. What this does is delete all record of the group, allowing you to start from scratch. If you're happy with the group though, then click confirm and it will be sent to CPCAB for approval. For this group, because I've only got three candidates in the group, I've received a warning saying that this is below our threshold of minimum group numbers. So it may be that I get charged an additional fee for this group. At the top of this screen, you'll see it now says details confirmed. And that means that the group has been submitted to CPCAB and is awaiting our review and approval. If you need to make any changes to the details of a group that you've already submitted, you can see the groups by clicking back onto registrations under the centre menu on the left. On this page, you can see a list of all of the groups that are registered with the CPCAB. So over here we have unconfirmed groups, confirmed groups and approved groups. This group here is the one that I've just submitted to CPCAB. It hasn't yet been approved by CPCAB. When it does, it will move beneath the approved banner here. To register candidates using a CSV file, click Candidates Batch. This screen gives you some information about how to submit a CSV file to us. First of all, there's a link to a CSV file format specification. If your centre uses a learner management system, it may be that you can set up your system so that it automatically provides your candidate details in a CSV file. It's best to speak to your IT department about this and they could use this file format to produce the correct file for you. There's also an example CSV template file here which can be downloaded. For the purposes of a test, I've already created a test CSV file, so I'm going to upload it now. Click the Choose File button, select your CSV file and click Choose, and then upload the CSV. The page will refresh and you'll see that all of the candidates within that file are replicated to you on the screen here, so that you can check all their details are correct and that there are no mistakes. If everything looks OK, then click the Add Candidates to Group button at the bottom of the page. Now you can scroll to the bottom of the screen and you should see that all the candidates were, that were in that CSV file now are registered in the group. You're now at the stage where you can confirm the group and submit it to CPCAB, so we just need to click Confirm. And as before, you can see at the top of the screen it says Details Confirmed. The process for registering a Level 4 Diploma in Therapeutic Counselling group is slightly different to other qualifications because it's a two-year course. As before, you need to fill in the course details such as commencement date and finish date. Because TCL4 is a two-year course, we require you to register each year separately. So if this is a first-year group, you leave the setting as it is, or if it's a second year group, click the second year box. You'll see that below, you now get the option to select the assessment date for the second year. First year courses do not have an external assessment date, and that's why you don't see the assessment date box in relation to that. TCL4 also requires two tutors, as the indications on the screen show. So for this, I've already got two tutors that I can add to the group. The rest of the registration process follows the same procedure as I explained earlier in the video.